Hello, hello, I am back with another video. And in this video, I want to talk about Pretty Ricky. Dating a Pretty Ricky. And what I mean by that is a guy who spends more time in the restroom than you. <laughs> a guy that may be that tall, dark, and handsome, easy on the eyes, you know, the kind of guy that everybody will the kind of guy that um he he takes care of himself really really good he's youthful and you know he feels as if he's the prize he's more of a prize than you are and i don't i don't feel as if it's like a competition thing you know because i feel as if masculine energy has good qualities feminine energy has good qualities it's the yin and the yang. We complement each other. Together, we are a powerful force. However, <laughs> with that being said, I feel like the feminine energy is the more softer, you know, the more sexy, the more appealing, easy on the eye, you know, uh, type energy. And in order to in just in my opinion to create a healthy balance the woman should exude the feminine energy while the man exudes the more masculine that's just my opinion for balance mm, everybody thinks differently so your opinion might not be like mine but i'm mentioning that because the energy of these beings out in present you know in public others can read it and so if you are not the type of woman that's exuding your feminine energy and your partner is let me give you an example of the energy that you might not know that others can see for example when you go to a party you go to a party with Charles Charles is the feminine type man, you know, he, he easy on the eyes, looking good, and you are in your masculine role because you don't, you, you don't want to wear makeup, you are love me and take me as I am, maybe you've not taken care of your health and you're sitting there and outside of you the perception of your energy is that you are spending your time at the party not having fun you wonder where charlie at so you're like where charlie where charlie you went to the bathroom you go check the bathroom <laughs> you're all right okay i was just checking on you and you know everywhere he moves you your energy comes off as needy as is as, as insecure as thirsty you don't know if to put your hand on your hip to take the picture to put it on your on your leg or to put it in the uh brass knuckles that you brought because you're gonna fight for charlie at the party <laughs> meanwhile there is a woman that knows how to exude her feminine energy <laughs> and she's at a party she had the party with mike Mike at the back of the party while she's sitting down saying, oh my gosh, this is so fun, you know, enjoying herself. She's more calm and her energy is so relaxed and just being her divine feminine self. And she's like sitting there and her friends are saying, where's Mike? And she's like, girl, Mike back there watching these other men, making sure none of them mess with me. Like security, you know, like what's up bro you know like watching all of the men because of this divine feminine goddess that he brought to the party and this it, this just depends upon where you are in your journey what type of energy you want to exude and if you won't be tired at the party or not <laughs> but it feels so easy it feels so comfortable it feels so feminine it feels so sexy it feels so organic when you could be the divine feminine at the party and you're not worried about a whole bunch of other women because you are not insecure, because you 
or the divine feminine that takes care of her outside and her inner being. And so what I'm saying in this video here is that looks, we put a lot on looks in the physical reality. But in order to create a healthy balance for the divine feminine to be to exist mentally, both mentally and physically, it's just in my opinion that women should date up. You know? And in dating up up, I mean in dating age wise. I mean in dating generous men who know how to treat a woman who who <laughs> who pass the gen the, the um the pretty Ricky stage and know that he is a distinguished high quality man that way him and her could sit down at the party and both have a good time and nobody is competing mm -mm. she's standing her divine feminine and he is in his his masculine his powerful, his warrior masculine. <laughs> and so I say that because they're in the physical reality, so many women that, that, that always, you know how like if you see a handsome man, a fine man and on in Instagram or something and you could see all the comments and the women are just like, Oh my gosh. And you know, I know men do this too. But as far as women doing this over a man, it, it seems like it is it's, 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 it's out of alignment in a sense. Yeah, for his strength. Yeah, for his look. I mean, a compliment is not a bad thing. But when he becomes the prize in the area where you are now a protector and you're now willing to fight over him and you're, <laughs> you're willing to put up with just about anything from him and, and, and he's spending more time in the restroom than you are and, and he's more work now because now you have to put up with a lot, you have to be on your toes at all times because now he's more work. Because he's youthful and he's he's the catch that everybody wants. But if we pay attention and deal with someone on this level where there's an age gap where the looks are thrown out the window, it's about the provision, the leadership, the character. It's about the quality. Then I feel as though that we'll end up with better and even longer and even healthier relationships. Because we seemingly waste a lot of our youthful years on that pretty guy. That, that thug, that player, that, that tough boy, that, that one that keep you on your back and, 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 and have you pregnant and have you going in the head. We, went, we waste so much time on those type of men. And I really think it's because maybe nobody taught us any better. Maybe when we were growing up, you know, the women said, don't be fast, you know, cover up. So they will stay away from the men. <laughs> so if we were supposed to stay away from men and cover up and don't be fast and we never really learned what, what it is that a real man was desiring. And so then the players came and maybe he devoured us. Maybe he took advantage of us because we were so busy being told to, to, to stay away. 
We didn't know anything about the game. We didn't know anything about feminine energy because a lot of us didn't have our, our, you know, father around. So mama was in the masculine energy role and she, she ran the house, ran daddy off <laughs> and ran everything. And so we pick up those traits and all we want later in life is just somebody to look good. Cause we don't, we, we don't even know what it feels like to be treated good. We just want the look. I'm doing this video, y'all, just to help somebody that's younger that, that, that may need to hear this. Because we, we, at one point in the journey, need to stop the generational cycle of this stupidity. And learn what it feels like to be taken care of to be appreciated, to be cherished, to be adored, <laughs> to be sought after, to be courted, <laughs> to be taken to another level. Yeah, it's time for that for us. For us, we deserve this. In this lifetime, in this season, but the only way we're going to get there is if we let go of those old habits of running behind the pretty Rickies. That can offer wet ace, but nothing more. It gets to a moment in your life where you should say, no more pretty Rickies. No more pretty Rickies. Bye pretty Rickies. There was no value there. It was a lesson. So we got our L. Our L is not for the loss. We got our L for the lesson. Lesson learned. Let's move on from the pretty Rickies. Because they have gentlemen out there that are wanting to be with a divine feminine woman that you are secretly wanting to become. <laughs> From my heart to yours, babe. Be blessed.